Hey guys, it's Stephanie. I'm Trey. This is your weekly dose of BS. And um, I move into my Montana house or our Montana house, Travis, if you're listening. Like in a week? Uh, yeah, like in a week <laughs> on the 22nd. So right before Christmas. Really um, cutting it close. Super close, super close. <laughs> and by the way, we've been building this house for like over two years, right? Yeah. Hoping it'd be done last Christmas. This Christmas, Travis, like, listen, we are getting plane tickets. We are coming in. Mm -hmm. Our families are coming in. Ready or not, here we come. Here here we come, right? So they knew in advance. Well, I I love Montana. But the one thing that drives me crazy is it's very different than Dallas. Like, Dallas, like, people are, like, just on it. Like, I feel like there's nothing better to do than work, right? (laughs) But there, Mm -hmm. people like to hunt and fish and, like, ski and and all the things. So it's really hard to get things done in a timely manner, right? And if you're from the city, it can be a little stressful. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so then the people building our house are calling and, you know, and everybody else is kind of um, like different contractors. So they're all uh-huh. subcontractors, right? So we are, so then they're like, okay, well, the stairway is pretty much done, but we can't get the glass one. So we have to like, we're going to do like, they're going to like do like makeshift drawing just for now, us see- to... Does that kind of like piss you off? Because it's like, well, y'all have had two years to order a glass. Little, a little annoying. I'm not going to hmm. lie. So then we won't have the elevator in, which is fine. But like still, we we paid for the elevator two and a half years ago. That was the first thing we paid for. But it's not. Why do you have an elevator? Because it's three stories, Trey. Oh. Yeah. So it's like we have one in our house right now. And then believe how it or not. you use that? Uh, you know who uses it every week? Who? Maria, our housekeeper. Because. It's great for laundry. Like, you can take laundry. Oh. It's just, like, it makes everything easier when you're traveling with suitcases. The suitcases, <laughs> yeah, that part I agree. So we use it some, but I would say more than anything, like, I think for cleaning and laundry, it's fan- yeah. It's great, right? Anyway, so, and then my favorite, one of my favorite things in the whole house is this bar in the main area. And it's, like, this beautiful, um, uh, like, piece of quartz um that's like that's like lit, blue backlit, it's right? like kind of it can be backlit or not yeah. but it, we have it where it can be backlit but it's like the most beautiful uh thing that we have and i was so excited for this bar and then they're like well we can't finish the bar out because we have to they're so tight on everything what have we, y'all been doing and we have to have because we uh, behind our bathtubs they have to put our bathtubs in and i have like these really beautiful behind the bathtubs like pieces of uh-huh. um Like, I don't know if it's quartz or whatever it is, but like this, like these beautiful, just kind of like stone that they have to put in as well. Right. So anyway, so we're moving in. All the furniture will be there because I will say if you want somebody um, for and you live in Montana and you're looking for like an interior designer, we are we have this amazing lady. I'm sure so much of our audience is looking for an interior Uh, designer in Montana. Maybe they live. Montana Maybe and they're so. like you know what I want to redo my my like living room or something she's amazing Le- message me I'll let you know um but anyway so we're gonna be moving in but it's kind of like dang it so wait why can't this stuff be installed in time well I think they just don't have time to do it all so they have to figure out what's the most important thing are they to going on vacation done. I don't shortly or something? I don't know I mean uh. like our driveway won't be in until spring be, and they I don't which know which that's the last thing to go and I kind of understand that part yeah, but, but like the it stone snows a lot, so it's just gonna be like a pain yeah. in the booty. Um, and then like our stairs steps mm-hmm. to get in, they have to have like makeshift steps. Anyway, little Good grief. super excited to move in, but kind of like yeah, a little bit Why is annoying. That done? I know, I know. So, but I will. I can't wait to be there and um, send pictures. So, anyway, but yes, we're gonna be moved in. All the furniture is gonna oh. be there, but it kind of stinks aren't you so bad it's, it's like, done? Well, it's not done, Trey. Well, so no, when it I'm is not. Done yeah, but when in, it is done, you know, the fall of twenty five. <laughs> I think it'll have to be like hopefully like spring summer like they have to have yeah. every everything done because can um, they only work a certain amount of time of the year well n- like i can kind of understand with the exterior part yes like, like the driveway makes yeah, sense like the court kind, makes sense. yeah the steps you should have thought of a little earlier yeah you know but like the interior i mean it's just where's the elevator what are we doing the Where? elevator and i feel like yeah. that needs to be like put in like that's that's pretty big yeah it should be put in very soon. Yeah. Um, the elevator company, they don't have it there for some reason. And they're from Salt Lake. I need to figure out if my Salt Lake sisters know who these people are. Um, because, yes. Interesting. Wait, speaking of Salt Lake sisters. What? Um, Emma Stone was doing an interview on a red carpet recently. And um, the interviewer asked her 
about the director and was saying, you know, the question was like, of all the Real Housewives, who do you think this director would do a great job at telling their story? And he was like, Jen Shaw. Oh. And so then Jen Shaw caught word of this. And she was she's like, got a yes. call from her manager, and she's like, guess what? Emma Stone thinks that your life would be a great biopic. And she was like, I want Kim Kardashian to play me. Stop it. No, she did not. No. Jen's got nothing but time in jail, and she said she's got about 150 pages worth of notes from jail, and she would gladly fill in any actress that wants to play her on how the story went down. Which, honestly, one day it will be a movie. That's a so, given. So, wait. So, she obviously is... In my okay, I'm gonna call it now. She is gonna write a book while she's in jail. She's gonna have all these yeah. notes, and then she's gonna let a book happen, right? And then then she'll make sell the screenplay. All this money, pay so, off restitution. So is that what she has to do first? Like anything from that book is pay off. That's you yeah. know what? Then I support a book if you're gonna pay off. And what honestly, you owe. yeah. And let's do the movie too. Let's make sure we get cover our six million dollars in restitution. We gotta pay. And that's then, a lot. That would stress me out. Yeah. That would really stress mm-hmm. me out, especially. Um, and her and her husband are still together. I, yep. I really sometimes forget about her until you bring her up. Mm-hmm. I forgot about her, too. But she's smart. She's trying like, to get out early. Creep in. She's like, oh, wait, it's been four months. Let me yeah. say something. Um, Do very you smart. think when she gets out that she will come back to TV in some way? Or people will be like, yeah, no. I mean, she has how many more years? Like four? Yeah. Three? No, I think, I think it's four and a half. I don't think she will. I don't know. I think Bravo at some point has to have morals, have morals. Mm -hmm. And it's a little different than, say, Teresa. I think Teresa, everyone kind of thought that she Mm -hmm. didn't really wasn't all 100 percent aware. I don't know. I think with Jen, like she was guilty. She said she was guilty. She pled guilty like. She took ownership of it. She it was old people. I don't know. I just don't think so. If so, I, I would be really disappointed. Honestly, mm-hmm. I don't think it'll be Bravo, but I think she'll tell her story at some point. No, I think she'll definitely try to make a buck off of it. Oh which yeah, is yeah. Smart. But yeah. someone someone will pick it up. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's picked up Kim Zolciak off the streets and been like, "All right, come on, let's just start filming. We gotta, you know, pay off your debts." I bet. I get. I get. I guess I get why, because it's a very, I think the TV industry is very, very small. Mm-hmm. Um, and if Bravo doesn't want you, I'm yeah. sure that the other. <laughs> like if Bravo people, doesn't want you, yeah. you are not I mean, it. Well, I'm sure the other, like Hulu, all them, I'm sure mm-hmm. that they don't want to pick something up if it wasn't working for Bravo. You know, yeah. like also she's kind of a household name. So I feel like it would have to be Bravo is the only way that she would work um, mm-hmm. unless she, and I don't think she wants to go to places where people would want her to go to, even for Bravo. Like, she doesn't want to go to, like, I've lost everything and I'm starting over. I think she mm-hmm. would, I don't think she's comfortable in that space. Yeah, that's interesting. So, I don't well, know. she's doing the surreal life. Well, it, we'll see. Maybe she has a resurgence of, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I mean, just want to know what happens in that see, house. I, well, see, I don't anymore because I feel like it's a little too, it just feels like there's too, it's too messy. Like messy yeah, can like be now entertaining. Yeah, you have the kids calling the cops. Yeah, like messy can be like a little, ha ha, like in, if it's small. But yeah. it's like, it's a little too much. Like I don't want to know everything that goes on in your life. Mm-hmm. Do you think a part of her like wouldn't do Housewives right now because it's so messy? No, I think she would, I don't think that she would stop. But hers is like, where they're back and forth, like they yeah. are calling cops on each other, but then they're like celebrating birthdays with each with each other, and then they're it's like it's mm-hmm. but see, an, I it's think, weird. I think that she wouldn't do it because we would all take Croy's side, probably. But do you think she care? I don't know. Mm. Maybe she doesn't care. I don't know. It's just very strange. Uh, you know, like even the Hotstein thing, like yeah. that's really messy. I, like I don't like things when it gets too dark because I don't like with kids and everything. It just yeah, that's really messy too. I don't know. I feel like a lot of these Bravo divorces are so yeah, they they're just not become great. really dark. Yeah, they're not great. And who, I who had a good one? Who had a, like an amicable? Teresa had an amicable divorce. Yeah, like Teresa's was good. Who else? Um, I mean, I don't know if they're getting divorced, but I feel like Kyle and Mauricio. If they do, I think they will at least fake yeah. it amicably before the, amicably. Be, uh, however you say it for the cameras. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious to see how that all goes down. Like at the end of Beverly Hills. Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, it's well, just very strange. And the fact that 
none of that's really started yet. Like the fact that just Sutton's still having to like give what the press was giving and that's all we've got. I'm like, why aren't we getting more? Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you think all the things with Sutton asking, do you think they happen later in the season? Well, and it's more of like a foreshadowing. I need to go back and yes. see when they posted those outfits, like especially mm-hmm. Jarek. She always posts whenever yeah. she has a moment. Well, um, so I think this was really early on. So I think Sutton was very much ahead of her time with do. calling this out. You don't think out. that they were like, we need, this is happening, so we have to. No, because that, that news broke after they wrapped because they picked cameras back up. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. So I don't know. But I, I know it'll transit over to buying Beverly Hills. So then how does that go? I don't know. That'll be very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Well, I know with our show, like if something happened and it didn't make sense, like mm-hmm. out of nowhere, they would have us go in and do like filler episodes yeah. to, for the audience to kind of get it. To like if something it, happened yeah. off camera, um, they would go in and do a filler episode. Mm-hmm. Like I remember one year with Brandy and Leanne, they got into a huge fight in the last scene. I think it was season two or three. It was at Deandra's house. Um, I remember and, this. Do you remember that? You did a then pickup at Bistro 31. We had to 31. do a pickup at Bistro, Brandy, Carrie, and I. Um, and this was after we wrapped. And where mm-hmm. Carrie and I had to tell Brandy that maybe uh, her friendship with Leanne wasn't great for her because it didn't make any sense for the audience yeah. for them to fight without, I guess, Carrie and I telling her that maybe it's a good idea that maybe Leanne isn't a good friend to her. It was like that stupid. I'm like, wait, Brandy's like somebody who definitely isn't like a wallflower. She right. doesn't need somebody to tell her how to fill. But for the audience, they needed it to make sense mm-hmm. for the audience, you know? Because I think it just kind of came out of yeah. out of nowhere cam- like for the for the audience members. Yeah. I think something happened maybe off camera, but they didn't catch it. So then it was like, okay, well, how do we make this make sense? Tie it in together. Yeah. You know, I, re- I really want to know is Cynthia Bailey's thoughts. Is she standing there at these parties like... Uh, this is not a real fight. I know a real fight in Atlanta. Or is she like, these bitches are nuts? Like, what? where is her head at? Well, I she would be perfect because she knows that that's their job. Yeah, but is she like, y'all haven't seen a real fight? Well, or no, is she they, like, yeah, pro- Probably, I think she's probably, it's probably tame compared to stuff that she's sat through. Yeah, so. that's true. I mean, that's the kind of people mm-hmm. you want there is people that kind of understand. Okay, Trey, so what is your New Year resolution? <sighs> to be skinnier, that's what I have. <laughs> Same thing every year. You know what? One of my friends moved the other day, and he was like, it's not that hard to lose weight. He's like, you just have to eat right and exercise. And I was like, yeah. So I struggle with the first two on that list that you said, but I really, eating right is not that hard with Factor. Yes, because they give you everything. Like, all you have to do is open it up, put it in the microwave, and put it in your mouth, which it's I think easy. you're very Two good at. Two and a half minutes. Yes. I'm very good at putting things in my mouth. It's yes. so easy. So easy. Also, their food is insane. So it's I really good. I love Factor, and I know not everybody is on the same diet, but for me, I love the keto diet. I think it's the easiest, easiest, I don't even want to call it a diet, Cheese and um, bacon Meat. are a lifestyle yeah. for me. And I love that I can eat cheese and bacon. And Factor has the best keto meals ever. They are so delicious. Um, they also have um, like healthy option lifestyles. Mm-hmm. You, I always pick my stuff out. Trey lets it No, I just go. let the Lord like, send me what he wants <laughs> like, me to have. Yeah, I, I like to have like a lot of, I always pick it out. I'm I like, will say for if you're doing the keto diet, Factor is a must. Yes. Like they make it so easy. And it's so easy, especially when you're doing keto, to just like eat the same things. But when you have mm-hmm. Factor send you all these prepared meals, it's you're not eating the same thing twice. So, so, so good. Delicious. Treat yourself to high-quality, delicious meals over the holidays. Choose from 35-plus chef-created meals every week that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences, whether it's Calorie Smart, Vegan and Veggie, Protein Plus, and more wholesome options. Head to factormills.com slash weeklydose50 and use code weeklydose50 to get 50% off. That's code weeklydose50 at factormills.com slash weekly dose 50 again 50 percent off which is insane that is cheaper than going to the grocery store trust me i go to the grocery store i cry leaving it is so expensive you know what where is this season of ultimate girls trip with brandy glanville and caroline manzo that we heard about a year ago where is that i don't think that's gonna happen i do not think they're gonna bring that no because it's not gonna make (laughs) i think I think it'll give Bravo a little too much heat. They're not going to do it. I think it's mm. too risky because it has to do with 
like, I, wasn't it where Brandy touched Caroline? Okay, supposedly? so Caroline it's Manzo like, recently said she was like, no, I was never sexually assaulted. Oh, well, there was this whole thing about yeah. that. Because like, Brandy was sent stuff. home early, then she was on the Traders reunion, and yeah. Um, but I think it, I think it was Caroline. She was like, "It's not what you think it was," or some, something like that. Yeah, but, but I'm like, where is that? I'm pretty sure that they had legal action was taken mm. on one or both of their sites, so I think that's mm. why it won't be shown. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I just don't think it'll show. If it did, I mean, they're gonna have uh, the New York one. They kind of hold held off on that as well. Yeah. That's going to be airing soon. I've mm-hmm. not watched one of the Ultimate Girls trips. I'm going to be honest. I've not watched one you of watch them. You watched the first one? None of them. Oh. No. None of them. I don't know. I, I I always thought it'd be interesting to come, but I, I just, nothing makes me really want to sit down and watch it. Have you watched that new um, movie on Netflix about the world ending? Leave the world behind. No. Really interesting. You need to watch it. Okay. It's really good. So uh, Michelle and Barack Obama are the executive producers, which made it extra eerie because it's it's about I don't want to give it away but like I'll tell you kind of like as much as I can without giving it away it's about like the basically America collapsing okay and how that would be very easy to do oh I yeah and so then I'm like like watching this and I'm like are we that vulnerable like are Michelle and Barack (laughs) telling us something like it was a little concerning so I was like, wait, is that like a real thing? You need to watch it. It's very interesting. The ending wasn't my favorite because I didn't really get closure. Wait, is it? But it was good. Is it a show or is it like this no, is what movie. could happen? It's a movie. It's Julia Roberts um, and a bunch of other famous people. And it's really good. It's interesting. Okay. It makes you think. You don't really understand what's going on until about halfway through. But it it, it just like... Basically, like, this satellite is taken out, and it shows you how essentially helpless we are without a satellite in space. Oh. Yeah. Like, GPS doesn't work. Your self-driving cars don't work. Like, there's just so much. The internet doesn't work. Phone calls don't work. All this stuff. It was very interesting. But it just really left me, you know, a little concerned because I was like, are they telling us something? Are they well, I mean, look at like, like even co. Remember when COVID was like yeah. at the peak? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think everyone felt very. Most people felt vulnerable. very vulnerable. Yeah, I can see like with your, with that movie, like how vulnerable you feel because yeah. COVID was kind of like that. It was like, oh my god, am I ever going to be able to like have a normal life again? It felt like you were never going to take the mask off. It felt mm-hmm. like you were never going to get your roots tied again. Like I. <laughs> And that was the scary that part. That was real scary. I was like, oh, Lord, I wish I would have gotten to beauty school. Um, <laughs> but, no, they were just so – it was weird uh, things that you take for granted, yep. right? Like 100% things you take for granted. You know what I watched the other day for the first time? A Cowboys game. Not a Cowboys game, a football game. Because the Chiefs were playing – I don't even know who. And I was like, Taylor Swift had to be there. And I watched 30 minutes of that game, and I only saw her once. Oh, I think they're not putting her on the screen as much because people yeah. are getting mad. Do you see that she was people or person of the year, Time Magazine's person of the year? Huh? She's Time no. Magazine's person of the year, and she did an interview. First interview she has in a long time because she does not do interviews because she says uh, she does not trust interviewers. I don't she blame her. Before. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but they asked her about Travis Kelsey, and this is the first time she really talked about him. And she said um, – she was like, that first game I went to, she was like, that was not our first date. She's like, if you think that we are, like, that brazen to just, like, make that our first date, no. She's like, we were already dating by that point. But I'm very happy that she, like, now has a boyfriend that will, like – go out in public with her she kind of like shaded her ex in this interview and just said like in the past her boyfriends did not want to acknowledge that they were dating her and so like she couldn't go outside and she was like very isolated yeah and, and this time she's living her out life. supporting a man good for her good I for know, her right? did you see where kim kardashian was like i think it was like gq man of the year yeah interesting i was i i don't know why i was like what's kim kardashian doing i don't follow I, her so i got on her instagram yesterday yeah, last night, and I was like, wait, she was man of the year. Can't, yeah. cannot make I it think up. it's more of, like, symbolism for, like, she has this huge company, yes, and she okay. is, you know, it's like, it makes sense. I did not get it, so then I was like, wait, what does this mean? Yes, it was like she was, like, in all these masculine clothes, yeah. and then, yeah. But On like, the finale of their show, Scott said to Kim, he was like, isn't it crazy? Like, you kind of scammed the system, and she was like, no, we really did. She was like, we were not supposed to be here, like, this is not... 
this should not have happened for us, but we really did. We scammed the system and we made it happen. And it's like, hmm. it's interesting that she acknowledged it. Yeah, but why do you think it happened? I think it happened because when she got with Kanye West. Mm. See, I do because I remember before Kanye, like that definitely was a whole like, I think level it propelled of, her into yes, like she would never gotten Vogue. to. I think that, yeah. um, and I know now he's crazy, but I think when they first got together, yeah, um, it opened a lot. It of opened doors. a lot of doors yes. for her and her family. Like they yeah. were then invited to the Met Gala. Mm-hmm. They did. The, they were on the cover of Vogue. I think a yeah. lot of those um, people that really closed their doors to, especially. Uh, people who are, um, you know, on reality TV shows. Yeah, that aren't highly desired by big yeah, companies. Like, yeah. yeah, like a Gucci and them aren't like, oh, I can't wait to dress can't wait reality to dress stars. Teresa yeah. Gucci. Well, that's the yeah. thing. Like everyone, Yeah. back to my, but like I remember somebody on our show, um, I'm not going to say who, but whenever mm-hmm. she became a housewife, she was like, oh my gosh, is, are you, you know, do you guys get free clothes from like, Alex Perry, Gucci, and I'm like, no, you get like, is sometimes like, you know, like lower end designers will like see if you want free, but no, like Gucci and Prada aren't calling, no. like, let me dress you Girl, for we're the show. For no. Zara. Yeah, no, not even Zara's like, let me dress you. Uh, yeah, no. So, no, I mean, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I think Kanye definitely helped. I think really what it was, I think Chris Jenner got a taste of it uh-huh. with like managing Bruce, and then she kind of like, figured out the industry and then when it came time to like have her second chance at that yeah. she knew where she was going to take it i think it's just the genius brain of chris jenner that got them there but i still think I, she did not yes because yes. i think he really brought them to the next level i don't think if they got married that she would be yeah like fashion wise like all the things that you think oh, about sure. like i maybe with her sister being a model that would have mm-hmm. helped got her but i do i do remember they were very elevated whenever her and Kanye got together. And yes. then I also think that he brought her down at the end in a lot of ways. Do and you then, think now that she has I think more star power than Kanye does? Yeah, I yeah. do. Yeah. I think I, I think he has a lot of issues. I I really do. Um, and he had so much star power and so much going mm-hmm. for him. Uh, but he's way too controversial. The mm-hmm. things he says are way, way, way. He, the, he's just, I feel bad for her being married Oh, something, yeah. Like having that attached because everything that he says that's so not okay and off the wall, like she, they're stuck together forever. It's kind of like if you're, you know. You know what else I think really helps? Everyone I know that's like connected to her somewhere in like the industry has always said all of the Kardashians, they are very nice people. Mm-hmm. They're just yeah. good people. See, I've heard that about and like that, Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that makes a big difference. Someone I know, um, knows Taylor Swift's manager somehow or is it connected there somewhere to the music industry and said you say what you want about her but she is very nice yeah it's and that's makes a difference that's important you're an asshole you're out yep okay so I know that you I can't believe you even not brought this up but I was what? again home yesterday just tootling around on social media Britney Spears, is that her new boyfriend, this guy, the shirtless Who? man? Trey, he's like in every right. other video of hers. Go to her page immediately. There's this guy. I do not know who he is. Um, he's like dancing with her, like on vacations and every other post. Um, how have you not oh, this seen one. this? Oh, no, that's her manager. Is that her man? Okay, I thought that was like her boyfriend or something. I'm like, who is this man? Is this her new boyfriend? Oh. How do you know that's her manager? I didn't even know that was her manager. Uh, because I've seen pictures of him before. He okay. was like, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. That sums it up for me. I was like, who is this? Because they're in like you multiple hear what? That, um, Jamie Spears, his leg was amputated. No. He lost a leg, and so Brittany is kind of like, all right, well, I feel bad for you because you can't run anymore. So she's trying to like mend fences with him. Well, and her sister yesterday, she put something out like praising her sister for dancing with the mm-hmm, stars mm-hmm. so i think britney's trying to maybe you know, i think the, the holiday spirit maybe she wrote the book her. and she's like you know what i i got it off my chest and now yeah yep and then she's giving them a second chance yeah. i don't know also did you know that amanda Bynes is starting a podcast no did you remember the whole like demise of amanda Bynes, like when she went crazy she was in the streets of New York. She yeah. went to Cartier and bought a bunch of stuff and was just passing out to people. Yes, and that's so she sad. She went to the airport yes. and then, yeah, had that whole, like, she's had a few episodes. But she retired from acting in 2010. Okay. And that was really the last time people heard from her. 
Um, and she now has a podcast coming out about kind of how she is trying to get her life back and X, Y, Z. Trey has, I'm like sitting here, he has yep. uh, like one person after another calling him. I he know. is so popular this morning. Yep, sure and am. everybody who calls him has emojis of their self. Well, um, that's like the picture they set yes, for themselves. Yes, so they all, yeah, the last one uh, was... It was Lori, and yeah, she has little heart hands. And she did this, yeah, yep. with her emoji. I don't even know how to make those things. I don't, I don't either. <laughs> Not going to happen for me. Um but no, okay, so I will listen. I will I'll at least I'm subscribe listen to her podcast. Because I'm yes. just curious. She's another one where, like, her parents came in and got a conservatorship on her real quick. And she requested for it to be extended because she was blowing through money. And she's worked since she was little. And so I'm just curious, like, how much money does she have left? Because, like, you haven't worked at this point in, what, four, 13 years? I don't know. That's the thing with those child stars. It's like, yeah. it's so sad. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. But also, I mean, if you think about it, I think until you're... Also, here's the deal. If you're not used to working and managing money, like if you've really... If you've always just had an excess yeah. of money, I don't think you realize how quickly it can mm -hmm. go Yeah, to where if you've... I think a lot of people that are super successful, they struggled in the beginning and they kind of learned how to manage money. Yep. And then when they get it, they're like, I don't want to be back where I was. Uh -huh. So then they almost hold on to it, maybe even a little too close. Like my husband, for example, he is, he's always like his favorite saying is a fool and their money will be separated, separated. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but he's very good with money. I will give you that, Travis. Like you buy, you, he buys stuff that I probably would not buy. Like I don't, I would not need nine cars, but they're all worth more than he bought. Like he, they're all collector cars and that's how he um, justifies it. He knows the difference between good debt and bad debt. He does. He does. Yep. He's very, very, very savvy when it comes to finances. Mm -hmm. um, but not everybody is. Yeah, no. They're, they're really not. Not everybody is. I, yes. See, I, Zach does not really know what all our bills are, nor does he really want to know because he just knows that I'll handle it. I don't it. know what our bills are. Yeah. Like, I would, actually, I would like to know. Like, I'd like to know, like, whenever Travis complains, what he's complaining about. <laughs> but it's hard for me to have compassion whenever I'm like, well, I don't, I, you don't well, show well, me, you don't yeah. show them to me, I don't know. Um, but see, so Zach's kind of the same. Like, yeah, Zach knows what that. he can spend and that's the extent of what Zach wants to know, really, when it comes yeah. to finances. Well, because it's stressful. It's stressful. Mm -hmm. But, like, all these child stars who've had millions and millions of dollars and I think whenever you have even that's why I always like Kim Zolciak. I kind of always have like a little bit of a soft spot for her with her spending is because I know she was probably getting these crazy checks and yeah. thinking it was they never going to end. And then when it does, it's like you, if you don't know how to really manage your money and you haven't been managing your money yeah, and you haven't yeah, been really good with it, then it's, it's hard to turn the switch on last minute. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's so, a very good point. Um, yeah, Travis is really yeah, and I feel like you're you're always really good. You have to have one person who like knows. Well, how to like manage. I, I've never had like a consistent like set, like with the bar with real estate. There's never like I never know when the next check's coming, so yeah. I always have to make sure that first check can last a, while. a little while until it's like the next. And it's like oh good cool yeah you know but yeah yeah it's great. Well, good for her. I'm glad that she's. I'm glad she's. Yep, I hope she's still rich. It together. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Good job, Amanda Bynes. Weekly Dose of BS is sponsored by BetterHelp. I've actually used BetterHelp for two, three months now, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love it. And bless my therapist, because I am always changing our time, but they are so flexible. It is honestly the best thing, because holiday season, there's just a lot going on, and I really can't commit to, like, one time. And my therapist, he is awesome, like, so great. He will message me throughout the week and be like, hey, how are things going? He's, we... Couldn't do a video call last week. So he was like, it's fine. Let's just do a phone call if you want to. And I was like, yes, please. Thank you. Because I was Christmas shopping. I cannot say enough good things about BetterHelp. I know you love BetterHelp. And honestly, you've in inspired me to love BetterHelp See, too. See, I, I really do think therapy is one of the most important things you can do for yourself. I think a lot of people neglect themselves because they are so, especially moms, because they're so focused on everybody around them. Um, and I, I love that you're doing therapy as well, Trey and better helps amazing because you can do it on your own time. I also love that they check in throughout the week because sometimes mm -hmm. you have major things happening in the week and it's hard to wait till your next appointment yep. to really talk to somebody. So I love that that is also a feature. I have done therapy my entire life, literally since fourth grade on. Uh, one thing I will say is BetterHelp is a fraction of the cost of traditional therapy, and it makes it accessible to Seriously, everybody. Seriously, a fraction of the cost. Yes. 
Yeah, and my therapist, he holds me accountable. God bless him because, <laughs> and, I, and I, I'm guilty of this. I know we say like, you know, there's not this, there shouldn't be this stigma around therapy that you only need therapy when times are tough. But I, last week I was like, hey, all good. Don't need a session this week. And he was like, uh, no, that's not <laughs> what that, and I was like, I know, I know. So I was like, okay, we can do a call. But I've absolutely loved my experience with BetterHelp. Everything is so flexible. It's so easy. You go online, you fill out a brief questionnaire. You can switch therapists at any time. I have not. I don't know if my therapist wants to switch me, but I'm like, you're never leaving me, buddy. <laughs> so I absolutely love BetterHelp. And if you were thinking of starting therapy, I would definitely recommend giving BetterHelp a try. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Weekly Dose today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Weekly Dose. Okay, so last night I'm laying in bed. Mm-hmm. And you know, both my kids have girlfriends, right? Cruz has had his girlfriend for like That's a long term relationship. Six months. I mean, yeah. they're like they are going strong. Um <clears throat> I didn't know Chance had a girlfriend. Chance has like, well, they're kind of off and on, but he I think this is her his legit first love, okay? Oh. So Cruz's girlfriend, they went he went on his first quote unquote date. They mm-hmm. went to the mall with another couple, quote okay. unquote. Um, walked around, Cruz bought some candy. He offered to buy his girlfriend candy. Because I told him before he left, I'm like, because I want my kids to do the right thing. Yeah. And that is like, hey, you're going there. This is your girlfriend. Like, if you go and get popcorn, offer to buy her pop. Like, I'm trying yeah. to have them Be learn. Sh- yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like, this you're, This is a date. Um, she did not want his candy. He was like, can I buy you some candy? She said, no, thank you. Um, but anyway, so they went to the mall. Super cute. I tried to tell him what to wear. He got very offended. Um, <laughs> said that I think I must think he dresses poorly. And I said, no, it's not that I think you dress bad. I kind of do. Um, but because he was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and it's like 30 degrees outside. I'm like, yeah. you look like you're going to the beach and it's, you should be dressed for Antarctica. <laughs> like, this is crazy. So, but he like threw a fit and I was like, just tie a sweatshirt around your waist. So we go pick his friend up um, so they can meet these two little girls. Um, at the mall to walk around, and then his friends, like, dress normal, uh, like a hat, sweatshirt, sweatpants, you know, like, appropriate for the weather, and his friend comes in and is like, Cruz, what in the world are you wearing? It's freezing outside. I'm like, thank you very much. Uh, I rest my case. Yes. So, Cruz had, like, his first little date. was super cute, Um, and his girlfriend's adorable. Like, I've met her. She's real, real, real cute. Her mom messaged me, and she was like, so-and-so. Uh, wants to get Cruz a Christmas gift. Oh. Uh, can you give me some ideas? Right now, Cruz loves his favorite animals, a tortoise. She's like, right now, uh, my daughter wants to get him a big stuffed turtle okay. for Christmas. I was like, oh, he does love Better a turtle. Than a real one. Yeah, I was like, he does love a turtle. I said, but he also likes fishing. So I gave her a few ideas and they didn't want to do the tur- big stuffed turtle route. Um, so anyways, he's going strong in his love life. So then Chance, who I really think this girl is like his first love, mm-hmm. um, he's, I'm like, Chance, you probably need to get her something for Christmas. Do you want me to help you? Because I still have to, I have to get Cruz's girlfriend something. So I already have a task, right? That working with Cruz, I'm like, do you want me to help you with your girlfriend yeah. on Christmas? So yesterday I'm sitting in my room and Chance text messages me because God forbid he gets off his couch, <laughs> his bed and like actually finds yep. me. He's like, where are you? And I say, in my room. Um, So he comes in with his iPad and he's been working hard on her Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. So then he shows me everything he has picked out. He like really put some thought into it, called all of her friends, had them kind of help him out. And he has all of her Christmas figured out. He purchased everything on his own. I mean, with his dad's credit card. But (laughs) (laughs) So what did he get her? Okay. So he got her a, uh, like a a really cute, like Kendra Scott necklace that one of her friends said she would like. He got her this like cute little, it almost looks like a a diamond ring, but it's obviously not a real diamond. It's mm-hmm. but it's like a little heart, like a really tiny silver ring with like a little cute. cubic zirconian heart. Um and then I guess she loves teddy bears. Uh-huh. So then he went and found a really cute teddy bear that he was Aww. obsessed with. He was like, Look how cute this is. I'm like, who are you? And what have you done with my child? <laughs> um so yeah, so he bought everything uh, for us. Anyways, it's it's very special. I have two Aww. kids. What do you get her? Uh, what is what am I getting? Cruz's girlfriend. Yeah. I well okay. So for her birthday, I got her a necklace, earrings, and bracelet from this um, E Newton. It's like supposedly oh, yeah, this yeah, really yeah. popular, like I think more teeny bopper type jewelry. Um, but we're not doing Louis Vuitton again, right? 
Well, no, I think it's too early. Okay. Like, I was, I really, there's a Louis Vuitton bracelet I really do want to buy for a, a young girl, but, like, I need to wait. I feel like I don't want to stress her mom out. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think about, watch me end up buying it, but I'm trying to think <laughs> about, like, the mom and, like, I don't want her to be like, well, crap, this this is. That's nice. Yeah, this is, yeah, like, I have to, I don't like when people feel like they have to do the same yeah, stuff. You know, like, I'm oh. like, I just really want to buy the bracelet. season of giving. Um, I've seen this, I've had my eye on this bracelet for a little girl for, like, over a year now. It's a real good, it's this just girl, the this cutest bracelet. Like, yeah. and, and I'm like, you know what? I would totally buy my, but I also feel like if Chance is gonna, I kind of want to mirror what Chance is doing yeah. in a way, like, but I do need to get her something, but I don't know, because mm. I don't have girls. Mm. But I do think it's easier to buy girls stuff than boys. Like, I oh, feel yeah. bad oh, for, for sure. the mom who was like, what does Cruz want? Because I'm like, well, he's yeah, a special a child. Yeah, like, yep. he would love a turtle. I, I think I was always, like, more than, like, I'd always buy my boyfriend, like, Abercrombie tops mm-hmm. or things like that. Like I'm trying to think of what they would give me. Like my high school boyfriend, um, like he would get me like a, a cute little simple ring or something. Mm-hmm. Like oh my gosh, what was James Avery? Oh I think yeah, back in the day yeah. it was like a Jesus ring. It's still very popular. Like a, yeah, like yep. um, it had like a little cross on mm-hmm. it because I was a, a virgin for life. He probably was like oh my god, this girl. Um, <laughs> I've never gotten anything like extravagant, but. My friend Courtney, I was helping her move recently, and she had this, like, it was definitely older, but it was this, like, rare vintage Louis Vuitton bag. And I was, like, and I remember, like, seeing this bag when I was younger, (coughs) like, in middle school, and, like, because, like, Beyonce carried or something, and it was, like, very expensive. And I was, like, where did you get this? And she was, like, oh, my gosh, my high school boyfriend bought it for me. I was, like, what? What in the world? And she was, like, yeah, at the time it was, like, $5,600 and convinced his mom that he needed to go buy her this bag. And she still has it. Oh, I I love that. I was, like, wow. That's so, yeah, see, you know, that could be one of your future daughters <laughs> too at this rate. Yeah, I, I do. I feel like I, I never had a daughter, so I think I will go crazy if I have a daughter-in-law. I'll be like, here. Yeah, right. <laughs> I need somebody to buy stuff for. <laughs> um, okay, but you've never, like, what's the worst gift you've ever received? It could be worst from anybody. Gift? I'm trying to think if there's something that you I know hated. What? My mom. Okay. For my 11th birthday, bought me a shelf. What? A shelf? Yeah. What Apparently, she thought that I really liked this shelf that we saw. At some <laughs> store. And for my birthday, I got a shelf. And I remember opening it and I was like, where's the real gift? Because <laughs> an 11 year old does not want a shelf. But I, yeah, to this day, I remember that shelf. And I think she still has it maybe, but. Oh, she bought it for herself then. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. But I, that's my I goal. I can't wait to see how that I goes. have to. So Trey, I need your help. And okay. then anybody listening. I'll figure I have it to out. buy something. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for listening and supporting. You can find me, follow me at Steph Holman, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You can follow me at Trainers for Stewart. You can follow our podcast at BS Podcast. You can watch us on YouTube at Weekly Dose of BS. Bye. Bye. Yay, networks.